Welcome to an unforgettable journey through the heart of Tunisia, where cycling meets culture and culinary adventure. Our day begins at Nomadic Bike Bardu, a heaven for cycling enthusiasts nestled right next to the famous Bardu Museum, known for housing one of the world's most extensive collections of Roman mosaics. The museum is a symbol of Tunisia's rich history and artistic legacy. With its stunning architecture and cultural significance, this location is the perfect start point for our journey. From Bardu, we embark on a 4km ride to the bustling center of Tunis. The route takes us through the streets of Bardu and across a blend of quiet neighborhoods and more lively roads. As we pedal through, the city slowly transforms, revealing a perfect mix of history and modernity. Passing by local shops, small cafes and residential areas, we see life unfold in real time, with locals going about their day. The rhythm of our wheels again the pavement is complemented by the sounds of city life as we approach the vibrant heart of Tunis. To truly experience the essence of Tunis, we take a detour into the Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the historic heart of the city. Cycling through its labyrinth of narrow, cobblestone streets is like stepping back in time. The Medina is alive with vibrant souks, the scent of spices, and the echoes of artisans at work. It's a feast for the eyes and ears offering glimpses of centuries-old mosques, palaces, and colorful storefronts. As we weave through the Medina's hidden corners, every turn reveals a new discovery. The rhythm of our wheels contrasts with the timeless pace of life here, creating a harmony that's uniquely Tunisian. Emerging from the Medina, the city opens up before us, with our appetites piqued by the journey. We make our way toward two culinary treasures that define Tunisian cuisine. Our first stop, Kafteji, a quintessential Tunisian dish that's both humble and hearty, made with fried vegetables like peppers, tomatoes, and zucchini, combined with eggs, potatoes, and spices. Kafteji is chopped into flavorful mash that's often topped with harissa for an extra kick. And one ingredient that always makes its way into the dish is Tunisia's liquid gold, extra virgin olive oil. Harvested from the groves that blanket the Tunisian countryside, this rich, aromatic oil oil adds depth of flavor that's vital in any Tunisian dish. From street food to gourmet meals, olive oil is the soul of Tunisian cooking lending its smooth texture and subtle fruity notes to everything. <laughs> Our journey continues to Wild el Commissar. So we arrived. Son of Commissar. Son of Commissar. <laughs> Rip it up into small pieces? Yeah, but outside, you can do it outside. Okay. Yeah. And then you bring it back here. Show me your skills. It's <laughs> tearing up red. I feel like there's not a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> it should be smaller pieces. Smaller? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe there is still involved then. <laughs> uh, it's usually torn up all over it. <laughs> and now we're gonna. Okay, let's put it together, all together. <laughs> Can't give it to him. Or you want one? I think that'll work. <laughs> uh, you want two eggs? Or one? Uh, two. Two. Uh, yeah. Zidaka, madam. <laughs> That's your one. <laughs> Will the Commissar, a beloved local eatery renowned for serving some of the best leblebi in town. Tucked away in the bustling streets of the city center, this restaurant is a culinary landmark where tradition and flavor meet. The rich aroma of cumin, garlic, and olive oil fills the air as the dish is prepared. Leblebi, a warm chickpea soup, is served with chunks of crusty bread, harissa for a fiery touch, and optional 
boiled garnishes like capers, olives, or soft boiled egg. Again, extra virgin olive oil is drizzled over the soup, giving it that unmistakable flavor that defines Tunisian cuisine. It's simple, yet deeply satisfying, a dish that embodies Tunisian hospitality. Food has a way of bringing people together. Around these dishes, we share stories, laughter, and the joy of discovering something new. As we pedal back, we carry more than full stomachs. We carry memories of a ride that nourished not just our bodies, but our spirits. Cycling through Tunisia, every turn leads to discovery, every stop a celebration. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep pedaling, and keep savoring life on ride at a time. Good coma. Good coma. Ready for some tea. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next time we'll have uh, hargma. Okay. Hargma. You want to describe that to me? No, I will not describe it, but uh, you will discover it. You will discover it. Okay, sounds good. <laughs>